The Police and the Strange Boots One day, a colony watchman was making his rounds. Suddenly, he noticed something black and shiny under a tree. Moving closer, he saw it was a pair of high boots, quite new. Now, who could have left this year? The watchman wondered, but there was nobody around to ask. In It was afternoon and everybody was indoors. So the watchman took the pair of boots to the nearest police station. You may leave them here, said Mr. Kumar, the policeman, pointing to the floor. He was busy uh, typing the reports and did not look at the boots carefully. After some time, Mr. Kumar put his pen down and decided to have his lunch. He had taken off his boots because it was a very hot day. As he bent down to wear his boots, he found two pairs lying side by side. Who? Oh, which one is mine? They both look alike, Mr. Kumar thought. It was not really matter which pair of boots Mr. Kumar put on because they were the same size. He put the, his feet into the boots and a uh, the strange uh, things happened to him. He looked at the sky and wondered, how, how lucky those birds are, flying wherever they please. How I wish I were a little sparrow. As soon he has said these words, this policeman found himself changed into an bird, a sparrow. Oh, he I must be dreaming, he thought, and as soon as um, he flew away the window onto the grass and began to look for worms, quite a different lunch from the one he had brought. But very next morning, he was surrounded by darkness. A naughty boy had flung a tablecloth over him. The boy caught and held him tightly. You naughty boy, let me go. I am a policeman, shouted Mr. Kumar angrily. But because he was then a bird, the only sound the boy heard is tweet, 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 tweet. The boy sold the sparrow to an another boy who carried him home to his What a waste of money, the boy's mother said. This is only a sparrow, a very common bird. Anyway, you may keep it for a day it in an uh, empty cage near the window. At least Polly will be happy. Polly was a large parrot kept in a big cage. The only words she knew were, now let us be men. This she kept saying all day long. Next to the police cage, there was uh, another bird's cage, a canary, where she was um, unhappy. The sparrows was she said in the bird language, Fly away, quick! The boy has forgotten to lock your cage. The window is open. Fly away, fly away! The sparrow quickly flew away straight to the policeman station. But was he to become Mr. Kumar, the policeman again? Then the sparrow remembered the police words and said them loud, Now let us be men. At once, the sparrow became Mr. Kumar again sitting in his chair at the police station. Can you guess what he was the first thing he did? He quickly took the wrong boots and locked them in the cupboard and wore his boots again.